Hello guys. Uh, so today video I'm going to show you the cache uh, feature from NetJS Build. So you guys can see here we have a uh, three block in here, right? But here the thing is, um, the thing is that in our uh, studio I already changed the information from three of them. But the fact that the uh, the cache functions uh, feature Build for NetJS already just it just saved the data and just not validated so but they huge feel trying to tackle this uh this kind of information that okay. okay sorry so just wait a little bit but let me get through the code for you guys they huge feel feel thing to tackle for this one so for example you, you have uh we have a get boss right so in here we can have this uh get seconds to to revalidate like every second if if I understand like this way, so this this get hour just leave it there. But in here we have to get seconds. Um, get second. Okay, so you guys see here the functions that return the data from the client of fetch, and we pass in the query from the proc uh, from sanity. So this is the way we're going to fetch with data with sanity but there is different way so this should in this example we are you this way so in here we have pre-validate we get second right so this is the first method so let's check that is our data already revalidate yet okay so it's already revalidates and update the data for our latest and in here let me change few of the information for this one let me make sure that it's work properly is my son the villa okay my son the villa my son the the no okay let's see my son the news school name yep i update i published it and in here let's check by refreshing the information you see this is the the it's still using the same informations um uh, when we already cached so that is kind of the issue is already updated data so this series i are building up already nearly finished um if you see want to do what what how i do it for with sanity just check the previous tutorial i have in my channel but for today we're going to have uh, to solve this uh, uh the block sessions i don't know why it takes so long yep okay so we have my sons they do okay so this so let's reflect that to make sure that the data is the latest not having the catch so, okay so we can see that there is no catch in there but they here is the second way so for some if you guys don't have this kind of a, a pro right maybe you guys don't even need this uh revalidate for the boss so how you guys will tackle this stuff so you guys can have a different approach approach you guys go to the base that you are using the the data in here we have the guest spot right and we will have the way to work around that you guys can export con revalidate into zero like this and i also believe that this will be kind of the issue that you are facing also when you guys work with NetJS and cms so in here we have revalidate right so for example if in the case we don't have revalidate then hit, let me hit save it okay save it then so we go into change the information that make sure we have uh, the correct way so let me change back into the villa and let me reflect is is it go into cache this one so it's supposed to be no that's if we just keep the same because i already turned off the revalidate re yep so it will be keep the same exactly like it's already cached so here is the thing here is the thing that you guys will need so we get back to our code base you guys will uncommon this line of code okay so and he's save it okay he's save and so every the every file from the server size will go into have to validate zero but if you guys want to do specific one uh, for each page you can also put in the in the top of the page that is will be have to validate into zero so when we refresh this one the data bar, the data should be updated into the villa for this name of that let me check let me check 
Uh, yeah, it should be. Yeah. So this is, will be the way, two ways. But then we have few more way that you guys can use the header uh, from the NetJS configurations, or you can go also can use in the NetJS config. And you set in the header itself, and it's also uh, automatic turn off the revalidate for the eat but specific but that you are want specific route. Sorry. And for me, this solution is very simple and fast and already have just few seconds that we can update the data so for example with batches you guys need to update for example we have the service here you guys can see here the image in here is still the old image but I already update the new image in here for example we have the batch and we have the service and the image is already uh, I already changed the image it's, yeah this is the, the, the uh, architecture and interior image but you still see the old image show up so that's why the catch is very uh, annoying uh, in my case but it's, it's good for the static and SEO but sometimes we need to uh, make sure that everything already there so here because that you don't see is we have the revalidate into zero in this case but in this guest service I guarantee that I also have the revalidate for this here it's also have the revalidate already built in the catch itself in, in, the, in the function itself but it's still not working properly so in this case we also need that the uh, cost revalidate in here and put on the top like this okay hit save it and it should work let me refresh this one more time yeah cool so I earn my journey into 1000 subscriber but if the tab have, the tip help you guys solve your problems hit the subscribe buttons turn on the notifications leave a comment and we try to do my best whatever you guys need okay let me figure that out okay so it's supposed to be having in here mm. yep that's it that's what we need and let's go to the block one let me check block one so you see here there is a little bit slowness uh, when I change the batches itself right and I also believe because the cache function that help us saving the time but some case that is not too efficiently so for example in the work page we fetch in the image uh, the video and then in here so this is very cool tutorial I already done so I am currently working for the by block detail that will show the detail in here would we have the few more informations um, okay so I think this tutorial uh, this tip will uh, we can stop over here I mean it for this video and I hope this tip help you guys to solve some of the problem you guys facing with NetJS card functions alright see you guys in the next video thank you